Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. This is a quick tip lesson. This is part of my quick tips lesson series. There's a link in the description to check out all the lessons in this series. In this video, I wanna share with you a powerful way to work on speed and uh, getting faster at playing anything. I'm not a huge speed player, but sometimes the music calls for it. Sometimes we just wanna get something faster or we're inspired to play faster. And often I find myself in that situation, we need an approach that we really feel comfortable that works uh, to increase the speed of something. Working on increasing speed, it's just gonna take a while because it's kind of physical uh, strength and dexterity and actually we have to physically uh, change as we work on it over time. But what usually happens is that we do it over this relatively long period of time and we find our fastest that we can play something and we practice it at that and we slowly increase it. And it works and we get faster. It doesn't work as well as what I'm gonna show you, but it definitely works. We can get faster, but what happens is that we kind of bring some baggage with us along the way, mainly in terms of tension, right? So this slow game of showing up every day or every time we practice and trying to get faster at something, as we get faster, we don't notice that to execute that we're tensing up a little more and a little more and a little more and it's, it's kind of slowly happening or we're losing some control in other ways, maybe some tone that we wanted with our exact pick angle or something like that. So it can work, but then it's just this dangerous, <laughs> difficult thing to untrain for ourselves. So what I'm gonna show you is a tried and true approach to working on speed that comes from classical pedagogical methods. It is called the speed burst. And it takes this idea where you, you want to find that top spot where you can just barely play it. You want to find that spot where you almost break down playing it. And then you want to play it at half that speed. And then you want to alternate between full speed and half speed and full speed and half speed. So what this does is that it allows us to constantly go back to a comfortable, relaxed way of playing what we're trying to play and say, ah, this is how it should feel. And then let me go and try it fast and try to bring some of that with me. And, you know, we're usually going to tense up a little bit, but then we go back to the relax and say, oh, yes. And here we go again fast. So say you're working on some something in the pentatonic scale, maybe one of these uh, pentatonic scale melodic patterns. This is one of the free PDF things I give away all the time. You can grab it with the link in the top of the description if you want. Some melodic patterns to break up playing the pentatonic scale, not just in order constantly, which can help it sound more melodic. So say you have a little lick from that and you want to get that faster, okay? So you find the fastest spot, use a metronome, but I won't for the demonstration, but just find that, find that kind of, you can play it, but it's just, you can, any faster and you might not be able to play it. And then you play it half that, so you find your, your ability to play it half that. So there's that fast, okay. And now you play half speed and then full speed twice, because it'll take up the same amount of space. Half speed, full speed twice, so. this moment in between this to, to play it and and lean into relaxing again and then trying to go play it faster and try to take a little bit of that with me um, there's probably going to be a little uh, difference sometimes differences or, or things that we have to do to get it as fast as we want it doesn't have to be exactly like the slow version but the slow version allows us to say this is my optimal state of being relaxed without tension which is always, 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 always a good thing. So again, this is a tried and true way to work on speed. Do it with anything, chord changes or a couple measures of a solo guitar piece or obviously lead guitar or whatever. It just, it just works with anything. So apply the speed burst uh, and let it take time. Let it take time, but you will definitely see your speed increase and not just increase, but increase with um, a better technique than it would have if we did it um, in a different way. Again, if you want that free PDF of these melodic patterns, grab that in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash number three patterns. Um, that's how we can, <laughs> when we go to play something, if all we've practiced is scales up and down, then probably if we go to improvise, we're just gonna play a scale up and down. So that's one of the ways to break it up to make it sound more melodic. The other way is using phrasing, which is how we play rhythmically, how we actually add space. And that's very, very, very powerful. So in the next video in this series, I'm gonna share a really awesome way to unlock how we actually all are kind of masters at phrasing already. We just need to approach it in, in a certain way. So I'm going to talk about that next time. Hope to see you in that lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.